Ebony State Government has reiterated its resolve to work towards the protection of lives and property of residents, saying that it will not abdicate its responsibility as it continues to foster conducive and conductive atmosphere for the state's socio-economic, political, and as well as human development. The state government said that top on its agenda will remain the provision of infrastructure, security, functional education as well as empowering the indigents of the state in a manner that will make them more productive in the area of wealth creation. It is against this backdrop that the state government, that is, the governor of the state, engineer Dave Umahi, said that there are no plans by the government to introduce cattle ranching in Ebony State. Ebony State Commissioner for Information and State Orientation, Honorable Barrister Oji Okechuku Oji, who made the clarification in an exclusive interview with Champion newspaper in Lagos, said that there is no truth in the news making the rounds that Ebony State is mobilizing resources for the purpose of building cattle ranches in some parts of the state. I want to make it categorically clear that the governor of Ebony State is not planning for cattle ranching in any part of the state. People are even saying that the federal government has given Ebony State 6 billion naira for this purpose. This is absolutely lies. There is no plan to go into cattle ranching in Ebony State and there will be no cattle ranching of that type. It is not an era or area that we have cooperative advantage. Agriculture and solid minerals are areas that Ebony State has comparative advantage. We are not into ranching, Barrister Oji explained. The six billion era in reference he reviewed is a solid mineral development intervention fund promised by the federal government, which would be assessed by individuals when the fund is made available. The fund, he emphasized, is still with the federal and not the Ebony State government. According to him, Ebony State is making conscious efforts to attract many of the intervention funds being extended by both the federal government and its agencies, including authorities of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to the extent that many people in Ebony State have gone into commercial farming even as the state is involved in the establishment of fertilizer blending factory. He informed that discussions are still ongoing on the, on the eventual, pardon, eventual take off of the cement factory in Ebony State, considering that Governor Umahi have facilitated the signing of Memorandum of Understanding MOU between the investors and host communities, even as access roads and related amenities have been provided. The state government, he added, is only waiting on the federal government to conclude discussions with the investors. The cement factory, when operational, he said, will provide both direct and indirect job opportunities for people of the state. He regretted the negative impact of the seat at home order being forced on the people of the Southeast Geopolitical Zone, saying that this is halting the economy of the zone. There are better ways of making our voices to be heard than disrupting business activities in the Southeast. This can send the wrong signals to potential investors, commenting on the 
recent visit of President Muhammadu Buhari to Imo State, Barrister Oji said that the, vic you know, the visit was a huge to the extent that it signal that the issue of insecurity in the southeast has been contained with pointing out that Buhari will in no distance time visit Ebo State, where he is expected to commission many of the landmark projects embarked upon by the Umahi administration. Mr. President is coming to Eboing for the second time. Mr. President came to Eboing to lay foundation for some of the projects that have been completed. They have now been completed. Is coming again will afford us the opportunity to showcase some of these critical infrastructures. He will commission about 20 projects which will include the ultra modern shopping mall four ways light tunnel which was named after president buhari the tunnel is the face of eboi he will commission flyovers which are the most beautiful in the whole of nigeria outside of lagos and abuja eboi state has the highest number of flyovers in nigeria there are also some critical roads to be commissioned. Governor Umahi completed about 500 km federal roads and 1,500 km state roads. Mr. President will also lay foundation of the Eboyin International Airport, which is nearing 70% completion among other projects. Barrister Oji further reviewed. What is your thought about this that has been said? What is your own reaction to this present situation according to what we've heard? Eboy State Government has reiterated its resolve to work towards the protection of lives and properties of residents, saying that it will not abdicate its responsibility as it continues to foster conducive atmosphere for the state's socio-economic, political, as well as human development. What is your thought about this? As we can see, get over 20 projects ready for commissioning. That is what has been said. We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the conversation on the space development. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people has felt. Let's see what people has felt concerning this. Alicho Chinomso reacted to this and said, Human capital development is the sure way for a nation growth. It paved ways for individuals to be independent and reduces crime and violence in any society. It will help in to increase pardon, literacy and even foster peace by eliminating much of envy and jealous among the teaming youths in our endangered society. What is your thought about this? We have heard what Jinom So have said concerning this that the human capital development is a sure way or you know for the nation's growth he said it paid way for individuals to be independent and also help to reduce crime and violence rates in the society what is your thought about this guest he also reacted and said if six billion is promised then ranching is also agreed and signed by umahi and his father buhari no two ways about this. The truth will surely come out someday. What is your thought about this? We have had different reactions from people. We would like you also to drop your thoughts and reactions concerning this. Do you think Omahi has truly signed and also is in support of ranching in his state? We would like you to drop your thoughts on this. Don't forget that Eboyi is interested in human capital development, not ranching, according to what Governor Omahi has said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.